Hello friends, how are you? Hope you are fine and uh, in good health in the current situation. So today I will be uh, talking about the basic organic chemistry, some multiple choice question and their answers. And uh, this is the set one and I will bring set two in my next video. And today's lecture I will cover most of the basic concepts of organic chemistry related questions. This is very important for BTEC students and also for students who are going to appear for JEE main, NEET, GATE, NET or undergrad and postgrad chemistry students. The first question is, which of the following is not a suitable solvent for oils and fats? Now we know that oils and fats are organic compounds, so those should be soluble in organic solvents. Now, Looking at the options, you can see those are A, CCL4, B, CHCl3, C, water, and D, benzene. The only non-organic solvent is water. So water should be the right option where uh, or in which oils and fats are not soluble. Second question comes, predict the correct order of stability of carbocations. This is very important uh, question related to the concept because carbocations, carbonions, radicals, those are very important ones in uh, answering questions. So, and we know that the three degree carbocations are most stable and one degree are the least one. So the correct answer should be option B, three degree greater than two degree greater than one degree. The next one is regarding the correct order of stability of carbon ions. So this is also very important to understand and differentiate between the carbon ions and carbocations stability. And the correct answer for this one is option C, one degree is greater than two degree and that is greater than three degree. Next is the stability order of free radicals, as you can see. So this follows uh, and this is like the stability likes uh, of the carbocations. So definitely here the option C should be the right answer. The three degree radicals are more stable than two degree and those are more stable than one degree radicals. Next one is the homologous series of alkanols have the general formula. So alkanols are the aliphatic alcohols and the general formula for that one is option D, CnH2n plus 2O. You can take a simple example, for example, ethyl alcohol, that is the chemical formula is C2H5OH and you can uh, see, compare with that one and this is CnH2n plus 2O. The next question is, which of the following is a cumulated diene? Now, a cumulated diene is such a diene where one carbon atom is associated with consecutive double bonds. Now, looking at the options, you can see 1,3-pentadiene, 1,4-pentadiene, 2,3-pentadiene, and 1,5-hexadiene. Now, from the options, the correct answers, the answer is 2,3-pentadiene, where one carbon atom is attached with two double bonds. So this is the correct option, option C. Next question is the general molecular formula of an alkyne is. So first, in that case, you need to look or you need to see as the simplest example of an alkyne. For example, we take HC triple bond CH, acetylene. So this is the simplest alkyne. Now looking at the acetylene, you can compare with the given options and you can easily say that option D, CnH2n minus 2 is the current correct option for this question. Hydrogen bonding is maximum in, the options are triethylamine, ethyl chloride, ethyl alcohol, and diethyl ether. Now the correct answer should be ethyl alcohol, that is option C for this question. Next comes the minus I effect of nitro, cyano, carboxylic acid, and chloro groups decreases in the order. Now we need to memorize or we need to remember that nitro group is the uh, is such is the most minus i effect exerting group and compared among these four chloro should be the least one so which one fits into that four options i think the option d fits rightly into the condition and uh, nitro greater than cn greater than cwh greater than cl so option d should be the right answer for this question next is what is the main difference between Hoffman and Cartier's rearrangement? In, in 11th grade or 12th grade, we have studied the Hoffman and Cartier's rearrangement reaction. And uh, 
In that case, we have seen that uh, those uh, the isocyanate intermediate is the common intermediate for those rearrangement reactions. So, but here the question is, what is the main difference between those two rearrangements? Now, the right answer is the reactants are different for those two rearrangement reactions. The hydrolysis of tart butyl chloride follows which order of kinetics? So here options are first order, second order, pseudo first order and none of these. So the correct option should be option C, the first order kinetics. Which of the following hydrolyzes the fastest? Among the four given CH3O, CH2Cl that will hydrolyze at a faster rate compared to the others. So option D should be the right answer. The order of minus I effect of orbitals is here the all the orbitals given here are sp, sp2 and sp3. Now the correct option should be sp orbital will have a greater uh, minus I effect among these three and sp3 will have the least one. So option C will be the correct answer for this question. The reaction of cis 2 butene with bromine gives the mesodibromide or a mixture of meso and racemic dibromide or racemic dibromide or none of these. Now the right answer for this question is it will produce a racemic dibromide. That's, that is option C is the right answer. Fifteenth one is on heating phenyl acetate in the presence of anhydrous aluminum chloride we will obtain the options are only orthohydroxy acetophenone only parahydroxy acetophenone, a mixture of both ortho and parahydroxy acetophenone and none of the above should be the product. Here the answer should be option C. We will get a mixture of ortho and parahydroxy acetophenone. Next, next comes benzylic acid rearrangement reaction of cyclic diketone leads to. Now the benzylic acid rearrangement gives the product with ring contraction for the cyclic diketones. So here option C should be the right answer, ring contraction. Which medium is used for benzylic acid rearrangement reactions? And uh, the right answer is very strong, basic condition is necessary for benzylic acid rearrangement reaction. Next one is which of the following is most activating in electrophilic aromatic substitution. The options are cyano, nitro, primary amine and NHCOCH3. Now considering the plus R effect of NH2 group that will help eventually the electrophilic aromatic substitution. So option C should be the right answer among these four options. Next is a solution of aqueous alkali will preferentially promote which of the following reactions in 2-bromohexane. So for 2-bromohexane, if we add aqueous alkali, the preferential reaction is going to be a substitution reaction. So option C is the right answer. For SN2 reactions, the, uh, the SN2 reactions proceed via the options are carbocations, pentavalent transition state, carbonions, and radical intermediate. The correct answer is pentavalent transition state. Next question is which types of isomers are formed in rearrangement reactions? So when we are talking about the rearrangement reactions, what actually happen in uh, the molecular structures of uh, the involved substrates uh, of these rearrangement reactions? So the structural isomers are formed actually. When a rearrangement proceeds, one structural isomer converted to the another structural isomer. Next is in Wolf rearrangement, an alpha diazocarbonyl compound is converted into a ketene by the loss of dioxygen, that is O2, ammonia, water, or dinitrogen, that is N2. Now the right answer for this question is N2, that is option D. Which intermediate is formed in Wolf reaction? Now in Wolf's reaction, the intermediate that is formed is a ketene. So option C should be the right answer of this question. Which was the first molecular rearrangement identified as such by early chemists? The given, exam the given options are Wolf rearrangement, Hoffman rearrangement, 
pinnacle rearrangement and faborsky rearrangement now allow me to say that among these four options option c is the right one that is pinnacle rearrangement has been studied much earlier uh, among these four in which medium faborsky rearrangement occurs neutral acidic basic or neat the correct answer is the basic so faborsky rearrangement proceeds under a basic condition So we have crossed the halfway mark. Now the 26th question is the boiling point of CH4 is much lower than that of HF. This is because now we need to understand that HF molecule is capable of forming intermolecular hydrogen bonding. That is uh, more HF molecules can bind together by means of intermolecular hydrogen bonding and that leads to their higher boiling points. So compared to HF, CH4 having less uh, higher boiling point or lower boiling point and this is because of the hydrogen bonding in HF. So option C is the right answer of this question. Which one is more nucleophilic species among these four given? Water, ammonia, OH- and CH3O-. Now methoxide ion will be the more nucleophilic species among these four. Which of the following is not an electrophile? Mind it, which is not an electrophile? Options are H+, Cl+, NH4+, and Br+. Now, NH4+, is the right answer for this question. Option C. Next one is, the Meisenheimer complexes have been isolated as intermediates in nucleophilic substitution reactions proceeding by which of the following mechanism? It follows which mechanism? The options are SN1, elimination addition, addition elimination, or SRN1. The right answer is option C, addition elimination reaction. This is an important question. 30th one is how many structural isomers are possible if one hydrogen in diphenyl methane is replaced by a chlorine atom? The right answer should be option C, that is the four structural isomers are possible in that case. Next one is which of the following is an alkane which can exhibit optical activity. So this is very important one that is an alkane showing optical activity that means there is an chirality into the molecular structure. So option is A 3 methyl pentane, B neopentane, C 3 methyl hexane and D isopentane. The option C should be the right answer, 3-methyl hexane. What is the molecular formula for the alkane of smallest molecular weight which possesses a stereogenic center? Very important one. The smallest molecular weight of, a, of an alkane possessing a stereogenic center. The correct option is option D. C7H16 is the molecular structure having a stereogenic center. Which concept best explain that orthonitrophenol is more volatile than paranitrophenol? The options are resonance, hyperconjugation, hydrogen bonding, steric hindrance. Inevitably, the answer is going to be option C, the hydrogen bonding. Next is find the incorrect statement for a nucleophile, which does not suit the nucleophile. Okay, so the options are that nucleophiles do not seek electron, the nucleophiles attack low electron density sites, option C a nucleophile is a Lewis acid and option D ammonia is a nucleophile. Now considering the four options, option C should be the incorrect one that is a nucleophile is a Lewis acid. This is not a right statement. Next the correct order of increasing nucleophilicity is there are all these are halides and uh, you can see uh, the right answer should be option C that Cl- have the least nucleophilicity and I- minus will have the highest nucleophilicity. So the option is option C, Cl- minus less than Br- minus less than I- minus is the correct one. Which of the following statements is true for aromatic hydrocarbon? It has only sigma bonds, it has only pi bonds, it has sigma bonds and delocalized pi bonds, it has one sigma and one pi bonds. As we know that for aromatic to 
for a compound to be aromatic it need to have uh, delocalized pi electrons okay so in that case option c is the right answer it has sigma and delocalized pi bonds which among these is not a representative of arene compounds so you need to understand uh, or learn about the arene compounds and among the four options given here picric chloride is the one which is not an arene compound which of the following statements is correct for alkyl halide they will always show sn1 mechanism second option is in unimolecular reaction increasing the temperature do not favors the e1 mechanism third option is increase in branching at carbon center the e1 mechanism will favor over the sn1 mechanism and the fourth option is for all alkyl halide e1 reaction favored over the sn1 mechanism or sn1 reaction the option C is the correct statement considering the alkyl halides that is with the increasing in branch at carbon center E1 mechanism will favor over the SN1 mechanism. Next one is which intermediate carbocation is more stable in pinacol pinacolone rearrangement 1 degree, 2 degree, 3 degree or allylic. Now option C is the right answer that in pinacol pinacolone rearrangement 3 degree carbocation will be more stable compared to the others. 40th one is which among these is a simplest example of polycyclic arene. The given examples are dibenge, anthracene, pyrene, naphthalene, phenanthrene. Now among these four, naphthalene is the simplest polycyclic arenes. It's having only two cycles. So option C is the right answer. Next comes how many stereoisomers of cyclopropane 1 to dicarboxylic acid are possible? Options are 1, 2, 3 and 4. The correct answer should be option C that 3 stereoisomers are possible for cyclopropane 1 to dicarboxylic acid. The Markovnikov addition of HCl to propane involves the initial attack of a chloride ion, isomerization of 1 chloropropane, formation of a n-propyl cation, or formation of an isopropyl cation. Now this is the right answer option D that it involves the formation of an isopropyl cation and then the reaction proceeds. The hybridization state of a carbocation is sp, sp3, sp2 or dsp2. Now we know that at in the carbocation the hybridization state has to be sp2 that is the carbocation is a planar structure so the hybridization should be sp2 option c is the correct option here which of which conformation of ethane has the lowest potential energy so we need to understand the conformations of ethanes there are different conformations possible that can be staggered ones eclipsed one skewed ones and uh, so we need to differentiate and we need to understand that for staggered conformation uh, the lowest potential energy arises for alkanes especially for ethane so option c should be the right answer 45th question is which is the most stable conformation of cyclohexane now for this one there the possible options are boat twist chair staggered these are different conformations for cyclohexane where the cyclohexane can be now the chair conformation of cyclohexane is the most stable one so option c is the right answer the reaction of ethane with bromine water gives four options are 1 1 2 2 tetra bromo ethane cis 1 2 dibromo ethane trans 1 2 dibromo ethane none of this so the right answer should be for the ethane and the bromine water addition, the product should be the trans product that is C trans 1 2 dibromo ethane. The compound having a conjugated double bond is which of, among the following options is a conjugated double bond. Okay, so that is one carbon in the middle between the double bonds uh, different from the accumulated uh, double dienes or double bonds. So the options are butylene propylene, isobutylene or butadiene. Now butadiene is the right answer. So option D should be the right answer. Next one is sodium ethoxide is a specific reagent for dehydrogenation, dehydration, dehydrohalogenation or dehalogenation. 
Now, sodium ethoxides are very specific for dehydrohalogenation. Option C is the right option. Now, the arenes are options are water soluble, non carcinogenic, volatile, and mostly gases. Now, in, in that case, uh, I, I must say that for the adenes, they are volatile compounds. So option C should be the right answer. The last question of the set one is the peroxide effect in anti-Markovnikov addition involves heterolytic fission of the double bond, a free radical mechanism, a homolytic fission of the double bond, and ionic mechanism. Now, we should understand or we should know that for anti-Markovnikov addition, which occurs in presence of organic peroxides, a free radical mechanism is adopted. So option B is the right answer. So thank you viewers for watching my channel TG Chemistry and keep watching my channel for having uh, more such videos which will be important for uh, all chemistry exams. Thank you.